to part 3 of perimeter and area of a triangle. In earlier parts, we have seen how to find out the area of triangle, perimeter of a triangle and some important formulas regarding the perimeter and area of equilateral triangle. So let's revise them. A quick recap will do us good. Let's see. Perimeter of a triangle. Perimeter of a triangle is the sum of all three sides. Suppose the sides are A, B and C. So the sum of all the sides gives me the perimeter of a triangle. That means the sum of the boundary. Here, perimeter of equilateral triangle. In case of equilateral triangle, we know that the sides are equal. So suppose there are three sides A, B and C. So it will be 3 into A because A equals B equals C. So it will be 3A, 3 into side. Perimeter of square. Once again, perimeter of square is the sum of all sides. And as we know that in a square, the sides are equal. So in case of four sides, we add them up four times or multiply by four. So this will be four into side. Side, suppose it is 10 centimeters, so the perimeter will be 4 into 10, that is 40 centimeters. Similarly, area of square. Area of square is side into side. That means if the side is 20 centimeters, the area will be 20 into 20, that is 400 centimeters square. And finally, the area of a triangle. Area of triangle is half base into height. Height is the altitude. Base is the base of the triangle where the altitude is resting from the opposite vertex. Suppose this is a triangle and we call this as base and this will be height. This will be the altitude. This will be height. This will be the base. So half base into height will give me the area of a triangle. Let's see some problems based on this. First question of the day. A wire is in the shape of a square with side 9 cm. It is rebent to form an equilateral triangle. Find out the length of each side of the triangle. So here we have a question where there is a wire which is in the shape of a square of side 9 cm. And then it is bent to make an equilateral triangle and we have to find out the side of the equilateral triangle. Let's see how to proceed. Here I make a rough figure. I have a square with sides 9 cm. This is a square with side 9 cm. And this wire is first opened up and then rebent to make an equilateral triangle. And I don't know the side. Let's name it as X. So these are the two figures. First of all, we have to note that when a wire is rebent, when it is open, it gives me the perimeter because 9, 9, 9, and 9. 4 times 9, that is 4 into 9. So this is my perimeter. Perimeter of the square and perimeter of the triangle will be same because the same length of wire is used to make this triangle. So here I know one thing, that the perimeter of square is 36. Once again I tell you, the perimeter will remain the same. So in case of an equilateral triangle, 3 into side gives me the perimeter of equilateral triangle. As we all know, we have just seen also the formula is that perimeter of equilateral triangle means 3 into side. 3 into x because i have made it x here we don't know the value of a till now so we just put in a variable x here and then this will be equated to 36 why 36 because perimeter will remain the same x is equal to 36 divided by 3 that gives me 12 centimeters so this is the side of the equilateral triangle which we need when it is made from a square when a square of side 9 cm is opened up and rebent. So here x is equal to 9 cm is my final answer. So this is how we do problems 
when a figure is reopened, a wire is reopened and bent to make another shape. Let's see some more examples. Second question of the day. From a square plot of side 10 meters, two triangular fields are cut as shown in the figure. Find the area of each triangular field. So here we have question number two. This is the figure which has been given. A square field is there with sides 10 meters. It's a field of sides 10 meter and two triangular plots are cut from this. One triangle and triangle number two. So suppose if I name it as A, B, C, D. So there will be one triangle A, D, C and another triangle A, B, C. The thing is that we have to find out the area of the triangles which have been cut. So we know that the area of square is side into side. Let's find out area of square. We have just seen the formula that it is side into side. So it will be 10 into 10 that will make it 100 meter square. It's always in square units. And we know that this is a combination of two triangles. Triangle 1 and triangle 2 together make the square. So that means the area of one triangle will be exactly half of the area of square. Let's see. Area of triangle 1. Triangle 1 will be area of square divided by 2. So it will be 100 divided by 2. That means 50 meter square. 50 meter square is the area of one triangle. We have another method also to, to solve this problem. See, area of square is 100. We all know this. Area of square is 100. We have just found out also 100 meter square. And the area of triangle, area of triangle is given as half base into height. Here if I see triangle ABC or for that matter triangle ABC, any of the triangles, I see that the base is 10 and the height is 10. Once again height because these two are always perpendicular to each other. So that means CD is the altitude, AB is the base. If I put in the values 10 into 10, I get 50 meter square and as you can see this is exactly half of this so this is the second method where in we can find directly the value of the triangle the area of the value of the triangle because it's just half of the square or else half base into height next question from a rectangular sheet measuring 16 centimeter by 10 centimeter a triangle is cut as shown find the area of the remaining portion here we have a problem where there is a rectangular given measuring 16 by 10 centimeters and a triangle is cut from this. This is the triangle which is cut and we have to find out the area of the remaining portion. That means first we have to find the area of the rectangle then subtract the area of the triangle from that to get the area of the remaining portion. Let's see area of rectangle. It's length into breadth. Length into breadth. Wherein in case of square, the length and breadth are same. That means it's the side. So it becomes side by side. Side into side. Side into side. And here area of rectangle, as we see, the length has been given as 16. Breadth is 10. So the area comes to be 160 centimeter square. Both these units are in centimeter, so the answer is in centimeter square, that is square units. Find out the area of triangle. Area of triangle, which one? ADE. ADE is half base into height. Here once again we see that the base has been given as 6 and because it is a rectangle, this means it is perpendicular. So half into 6 into 10. This is the base, 6. This is the altitude. And here I get as 30 centimeter square that this is the area of the triangle. Now to find out the area of the remaining portion, I subtract area 1 
minus area 2. This is my area 1 and this is my area 2. In short I am writing, so it's area 1 minus area 2. That means area of the rectangle minus area of the triangle. This will be 160 minus 30 that is 130 centimeter square or 130 centimeter square or square centimeter. It's one and the same. So this is how we find out the area of the remaining portions. Wherever there is a figure given and some portion of it is cut, we subtract the area. Expression, two right triangles with area 200 centimeter square each combine to form a square as shown in the figure. Find out the measure of the side of the square thus formed. So here we have a question where there are two triangles which are combining together to make a square. Two right triangles have been given with area 200 centimeters square each. And then finally we have to find out the side of the square which is finally formed when these two triangles are joined together. Let's see how to go about this. As we know that these are two equal triangles. We combine their area to make the area of the square. So what I get is area of square. Area of square is the combination of ABC. Triangle area of triangle ABC. That is area triangle ABC plus area triangle ADC. Triangle ADC. As we know that because there are equal, equal triangles, these are two equal right triangles, we can just combine the... Uh, here there are two triangles, area triangle ABC plus area of triangle ADC. So what I get is 200 plus 200, that is 400 centimeter square is the area of square. Area of square, I'm finally getting as 400 centimeter square A, B, C, D. And as I know, area of square is side into 4. So this I equate to 400. 4 into side is area of square. When I get for this side, it gets divided by 400. And I get the side as 100 centimeters. So this is my final answer. This is the side of the square which is formed when two triangles of area 200 centimeter square each combine together to make a square. So this is all for today. Hope you enjoyed the session. Hope you are liking all our videos. So send in your queries and suggestions in the comment box. Share the videos with your friends and watch out for the latest videos. Press the bell icon. Subscribe to Idea Infinity.